After 16 years, the Honda Passport is back. But in today's very different market, you have to ask yourself the question, is the new Passport a true adventure vehicle like the original, or has Honda just gone SUV crazy? So the U.S. market has seen two previous generations of the Passport, both of which were rebadged versions of the Isuzu Rodeo. This car, however, is no rebadged job. The entire car was developed from the ground up by Honda internally. So the Passport is the fourth SUV in Honda's lineup, and it slots right in between the CRV and then the three-row Pilot. And it's going to be priced accordingly in between those two vehicles. The only available engine across all of the trim levels with the Passport is a 3.5-liter V6, which is good for 280 horsepower, and that's made it to a nine-speed transmission. The car has an available torque vectoring all-wheel drive system that can send up to 70% of the power to the rear axle and up to 100% of the power to either the right or left rear wheel. And that combined with fully independent suspension and a four mode traction management system which can be optimized for mud, snow or dirt means that this car can tackle just about anything you throw at it. But of course we'll reserve judgment on that until we get to drive the Passport prior to when it goes on sale in early 2019.